This week, Ian and I refinish our old chateau shutters. We visit our friends in Normandy and have a little fun inspired by Wes Anderson. So today I'm gonna to continue cleaning the moat walls and I've been holding off on continuing this job because I realized that I needed a few tools. And the first one on that list was this. It's a collapsible handsaw. And the reason I need this is because when I was watching the footage from a few weeks ago, the saw that I had was just kind of dangling around by my thigh. So I'm happy I have this. This should also be a lot faster to cut with. The next thing I'm excited about is this uh, harness chair thing. And this should hook up to my harness and give me something to sit on when I'm on the wall. That should make it a lot more bearable. The other thing that I was trying to figure out was how to make the job a little easier when trying to haul the debris off the wall. But I did find a better solution, which is actually a trash can. It's got wheels on the backside. So by my calculations, I should be able to hoist it over the side and then roll it back up and that shouldn't cause any kind of damage on the moat itself. So now we just gotta tie a decent knot. Don't really know how to do that, so I'm just gonna use a carabiner. Look at that. <laughs> you know, that's nifty. Look, if I need your help, just Pull me up, okay, Arkea? Can you do that? <sighs> this harness seat makes this job so much more bearable. <laughs> the last time I did this, the circulation in my thighs was just cutting off the whole time. But now I'm, I'm just kind of hanging out. Like it's really not, okay, there's a lot of ants, but besides the bugs, it's really not that bad. <laughs> Finally gotten to the end of this wall on the moat. Yeah, um, this is just a very long job, but this little bench seat that I got makes a huge difference. Um, I don't think my hips are gonna be swollen this time. And the little saw that I got feels much safer, but I did somehow manage to put a hole into my pants. And at one point I was like, this close to some giant centipede thing by my face. Whoa. And I did have someone suggest using a torch, which of course, when I read that, my mind went straight to flamethrower. That sounds fun. Uh, not sure where you buy those, but I will look into that. On continue, as they say in French. So Daphne has asked me to restain the shutters, I mean, in at least a thousand times. And the problem that I've run into is that... Well, Ian was so laboriously working on those shutters for the Hunter's Lodge, yeah. the sander broke. Yeah. And so we went to the store to look at what they had available. And according to them, if we use this, we shouldn't have any dust residue 
for the sanding. And it will allow us to do so many more jobs throughout the summer. And that's always a big concern in the chateau because if we get dust on things during the wedding season, it's a big problem and it's a lot of work to clean it off. So we're gonna see if this works. Then we that can get going. That's, there's a spider on your face. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Yeah, the spider just crawling up your cheek. <laughs> We're in a chateau. We're in a chateau. That's not chateau life, everybody. <laughs> That's really impressive. I think we found our new favorite tool. We're gonna have to let the room air out for the next couple days before the next wedding. Ian. But it's great, it looks really good. Ian. Yes? There's a big drip up there. Probably not me, it was probably, it was probably you. Well, since these are looking so good, I'm thinking that we should paint the rest of the shutters. Like, upstairs? Yep and on the front side of the chateau as well. Being a very good guard dog, Arkea. Very good guard dog. Okay, too good. We took a day trip to Normandy to visit Benoit and see his new and improved atelier. Just play chicken with him. Yep. We'll, we can take him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Je suis comme un gosse ouais. qui, qui reçoit ses nouveaux jouets. C'est waouh. Alors toi, tu cherches déjà les, les embrouilles. T'es désagréable. Eh, ouais, parce que de toute façon, je, je... La, la retraite à 64, c'est pas pour moi. Donc de toute façon, je vais mourir sur scène. <rire> Donc là, je vais vous présenter quand même mon binôme, Vincent, qui est maintenant va travailler avec nous. Donc, euh, je ne serai plus tout seul, ça va être ma main gauche. L'atelier est beaucoup plus propre. Grâce à lui. Grâce à lui. Grâce à lui. C'est super, c'est bon ça. C'est mignon, hein. Bah, ce matin, j'ai dit, faut que je fasse. C'est festif, faut que ça soit décoratif. Ça, c'est des... Ah, ouais. des lunettes de sécurité que j'ai achetées pour Philippe. Parce que, tu vois, le dernier... ah, sur le de... Oui, parce que sur le dernier film, on lui a demandé des lunettes de, de, de sécurité. Et j'ai retrouvé ça. Et je me suis dit, tiens, faut que j'offre ça à Philippe. Parce et que euh... moi, j'allais te demander, est-ce que tu as racheté des nouveaux lunettes de protection Alors, euh, non, moi, j'en ai pas besoin, clair. je les ai. Mais euh, pour Philippe, j'ai trouvé ça magnifique. Quand j'ai retrouvé ça, j'ai dit, waouh ça, ça me fait plaisir de te les offrir en heure en plus. <rire> C'est une salle privatisée. Très, très privatisée. Oui. T'es prêt Oui. Non. <rire> oh, voilà. Donc voilà. Ici, c'est notre espace cuisine et repos. Mais du coup, Benoît, t'auras pas dû nous montrer ça Pourquoi parce que Alors... Yann me réclame ça. Ça <rire> Ça. 
J'ai pas besoin de télé, j'ai ma musique, j'ai mes chiens, ça me suffit. Oh ouais. <rire> tu as Ops. Oui. Et tu as Agrid. Mon pauvre pépère qui est parti. Il m'en faudra une deuxième pour avoir Taz. Oui. <rire> Mais Taz, il va prendre toute la place. Oui. <rire> et puis je pense que sa copine aura droit à sa place aussi. Ah, super hein ouais. Regarde, magique. Ça fait un bordel monstre. Ah ouais. C'est génial. <rire> puis bah le tour à bois, alors là, c'est euh, le petit bijou, quoi. T'accroches ton bout de bois et ce qui fait que tu peux le creuser. Tu peux le creuser Alors, à l'intérieur. Et après, tu peux travailler par ici avec ton ciseau pour creuser à l'intérieur. À l'intérieur pour, pour faire des plateaux, des assiettes, oui. ce que tu veux, quoi. En bois. C'est top, hein. quoi. Là, c'est un, jeu. Un, jeu. Là, un jouet, là. Oui, mais là, je pense qu'on va avoir beaucoup, non, non. beaucoup ouais. de commissions, là. Hein je crois. Hein. <rire> oh, wow. Là, on est... Euh... Dis-moi, avec ces nouvelles machines, est-ce que tu penses que tu vas gagner du temps aussi oui. à... Ça va être des vrais jouets. Des vrais jouets, je te jure, c'est des jouets. Oh, trop Donc ça, c'est trop génial. We are so grateful for the support Benoit has received from around the world. And we can tell he's very excited to craft something with these new machines. Every year, Daphne and I celebrate a special occasion. This occasion allows us to take a short break from our chateau renovations. It gives us the chance to do something both fun and unusual. This occasion, of course, is Daphne's birthday. Hey, Daphne. Yeah. I got a present for you. What is it? I love it. I've never shot a bow before. Neither have I, but I did have a small trebuchet when I was a child, and I think it's about the same thing. Can we go shoot it? Do we need anything else? We can shoot it, but we're gonna need arrows, targets. Binoculars. Camembert. Okay. Bow. Arrow. How far is our neighbor's house? Are you sure this is a good idea? Hold it a little higher. I think I want to do something else. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. And if you'd like to support us and get exclusive content, join us on Patreon. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just pretend to, here, pretend to pull it back. You gotta tie that or something. That's gonna, wind's gonna, pretend to pull it back. And then if you release it, when you actually do it, up, uh, nope. Okay, I'll go get it. Can you hold this? <laughs> Just so, I'm assuming this is gonna be in the bloopers. <laughs> Daphne was supposed to just lightly release the arrow to go like 10 feet. And instead, 
she fired it straight into the tallest <laughs> giant field of grass. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take a video of that so people can see just what I have to go search through now. I'll be watching you. Yeah.